<clears throat> All right, quick lesson for pages 11 and 12. <laughs> um, these are weird. This is a little challenging in some respects. It's more like a game, okay? Think of it more as a puzzle than actually solving a problem. When you actually have something to solve that's really easy, the game is trying to figure out what can I add together, and a lot of times there's nothing that are like terms that you can add together. So, <clears throat> for instance, um, if I have square root of 7 plus 3 square root of 7, you can actually add that. It's like having 1 square root of 7 plus 3. They're the same thing, okay? These two terms are the same. So we can say 4 square root of 7, all right? What if I said square root of 5 plus the third root of 5? All of a sudden, these are totally different now because this is square root and this is cube root. So even though this is a 5 under here, I can't do anything with it. So you just have to leave it and say no answer possible. So let's look at a couple of examples here. <clears throat> are any of these like terms, okay? Well, this is square root of 11 and this is square root of 11. So this actually is the same as that, okay? So now we can add the 1 third plus 5 thirds. And hopefully you know how to do fractions in your head. So you get, what, 6 thirds, which reduced is 2, okay? So 2 square root of 11. And then this is not a like term, so we would just tack that on. And you're done. Okay, can't go any further. Um, I'm going to show you. <laughs> they do a couple of these where... It looks more complicated than it really is, and once you're done, you can even simplify it further than you think you could. So watch this. Is this a like term with this? And the answer is yes. This is square root of 9, square root of 9. This is like positive 1 plus negative 3. So you get negative 2 square root of 9. We have a 4 out front. And then this says plus the third root of 9. Now, can I simplify this, or is this the same as this? No. Because of this index of 3 on this radical, it's not a like term with these two. <clears throat> now, you think you're done, but think about it. What is the square root of 9? 3. Okay? So, actually, this is 2 times 3, which gives me 6. So, now I have 4 minus 6 which you can simplify that and get your answer and then plus the third root of nine, okay? So in just looking at the problems, there actually are a few, several, that the, the answer is cannot be simplified, okay? So don't let that surprise you and don't think, oh, they might only have one or two. They actually have several that way. And then there's a few of them like this that you can go further than you'd think when you get to uh, the midpoint here. Not that hard, it's more like, a, treat it more like a puzzle, like I said, more like a game. The math part is not hard, it's just challenging your thinking, all right?